Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I really didn't want to do this video, mainly because there are a lot of other related Robot Wars channels uh, that have already covered this in great detail and have already gone into great lengths as to how much they love the show and how you know distraught they are at its, its of what's happened. I'll get to that in a minute. You know, such as uh, Good Rebuttal. Um, Dark Lord Saxon, Mr. Psycho, uh, Sam Elliott 64 of uh, the um, Robocast, Jim Dramatic, and Hardcore Code. There's pl there's plenty of really, really good Robot Wars related uh, YouTube content uh, channels for you to watch. Uh, and generally their reactions are about the same as mine, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it anyway, because this is something that is just as much as close as to my heart as a lot of other people who follow this show dearly and what has come to light recently has unsurprisingly pissed off a lot of people so this is just me getting these faults and feelings out of the way just for the sake of it so um, it was announced on Friday the 16th of March that on the Robot Wars Twitter page and Team Carbide's uh, Twitter page that Robot Wars would not be revived for a fourth reboot series. Um, the decision was taken by the BBC who themselves, I think not the BBC themselves because they haven't been bothered to release a statement, it's from the BBC press office here that says we are very proud of hashtag Robot Wars and would like to thank Mentor Media, the presenters Dara O'Brien and Angela Scanlon and all those involved in the last three series. However, in order to create room for new shows, it will be returning to BBC Two. The big question I have for the BBC Two and, well, for BBC Two specifically, as I should have really stated there, and uh, press office is this. What are you going to replace it with? I mean, I mean, it was, I mean, I think... Looking at this, the only people that are to really blame for this are the BBC themselves. They've practically shot themselves in the foot, especially given the pro the poor promotional uh, advertisements on the BBC itself. Uh, the lack of any sort of support from uh, BBC themselves on the show, and just the, the piss-poor scheduling uh, with the show itself. I mean, the last two series uh, of Robot Wars were at least held back for a single week because of something that was in between those. So you had, uh, I believe, Series 9 was was kept back for one week because of the uh, golf, I believe. And then Series 10 was held back for another week, much like Series 9. This one was for um, tennis. Um, it's... <sighs> You know, your complaints are just as much as mine. I, I just think the BBC have done such an appalling job of of the new series of Robot Wars in terms of promoting it and in terms of um, advertising it and giving it the support that it needed, which it has been craving for for the past few series. It needed more support and it just hasn't happened. And ultimately, you know, the BBC have made such a really, really bad decision. Um, my big question, though, is or probably some people's questions would be is this technically the end of Robot Wars honestly I'd say no because honestly looking at how robot combat is now I genuinely do believe we've hit um, a renaissance if you will in terms of robot combat itself because if you look at how expanded the Robot Wars license has become so you have King of Bots which just aired its first series in China and elsewhere you now have uh, Clash Bots, I believe the name of the show, um, and of course last month it was confirmed that Discovery Channel and Science Channel would be giving Battle Bots in in the United States its third series. Now I'm always going to have my personal uh, preference uh, for Robot Wars, and and I know that some of you may disagree with that, and that's absolutely fine. I just have my personal preferences, and. You know, Robot Wars means a lot to me, and it means a lot to so many people. You know, it's it's been something that I thought I wouldn't I'd, I'd, I wouldn't forget about. I thought I would forget about it when I was a lot younger, when it went off the air. But again, you know, the community has just made incredible in terms of the support, in terms of keeping it going at the live events, the live circuits, the people in general. I mean, it's just such a a hugely supportive and you know dedicated community that there is, and you know, 
you know, it's going to keep going. The the sport itself is going to keep going. I mean, it doesn't just stop with Robot Wars. I mean, the show itself, as it is, is dead. And, you know, that's... And I know that's a bit blunt. But in its current form now, it's dead. Given this recent announcement. But, I mean, in terms of the sport itself... We, we're always going to have robots live. We're always going to have extreme robots. And in the, in the United States, you know, not only do we have BattleBots Season 3... You know, Robo Games is something that, you know, has always been a huge big thing in the United States in terms of robot combat. So, in essence, no, Robot Wars hasn't died. It still lives on because that's what the original uh, sport of this type started out as. It started out in the early 90s as Robot Wars. It just so happened that a small company in the UK called Menton saw potential in, you know, the sport itself and wanted to make a TV show out of it. And obviously it was, you know, Robot Wars back in the United States was under the stewardship and creative mindset of um, Mark Thorpe. Uh, but they, again, I know I keep coming back, but they, you know, it's not dead. Robot Wars isn't really dead. It's it's something that's going to keep going for as long as we're around and as long as I'm around. It'll probably be long round when I when I when I pass away, which I don't know when, but uh, never mind on that. I do genuinely feel that we've hit a point where robot combat, you know, is, was becoming accepted again and I do feel that the whole timing of this cancellation has just been nothing short of really poorly timed just so poor on so many levels especially considering you know as i've already mentioned battlebots being you know reannounced for fred for a third series and king of bots and clash of bots or clash bots sorry i pronounced that wrong with with those shows you know being so popular and all and you know audiences loving them so much you'd think the logical thing for the bbc to do would be oh okay we'll give robot wars another series but that's not been the case uh Honestly, I think this this has completely put me off my TV license. I mean, I don't pay for a TV license anyway, I don't think. But I just really can't see the point of renewing it now. Especially given how little I watch TV nowadays. I mean, there's barely anything on TV that's worth giving any sort of caring about. You know, especially the stuff on the BBC, which I hate to come across as a bit, you know, picky... I mean, I apologise if I come across as picky to some people, but Robot Wars was the most genuinely interesting thing to me on TV in the past few years. I couldn't care anything else about what Top Gear is trying to offer. Uh, basically, anything else on BBC One or BBC Two, as besides Robot Wars, I couldn't care about. I'm not a big advocate for watching TV shows now because they're just so dull to me. It's online streaming and media is where it's at. And that's where I think one of the big benefits of Robot Wars could come in at some point in the future. When you look at the Grand Tour, for example, obviously uh, Top Gear had Clarkson, Hammond and Mir as the three presenters. When they left and hit Amazon, Amazon went through the roof in terms of subscriptions, I believe. They got a lot of people on board with that. Now, if Robot Wars does the same, and theoretically this is only theoretically, it's more, it's more hope than expectation, and I get that it may or may not happen, so... You know, it's it's something that could happen, but it's also something that probably may not happen. I'm not getting I'm not getting my expectations high, but I, I would like to at least have high hopes about it. As long as you know, if something, if some online company like say Amazon Prime or Netflix can get behind Robot Wars, if they see the potential in the show, if they not only see potential in Robot Wars itself, or at least revamp the show in such a way that it can you know, be be much longer in terms of overall series. So you could, you know, much like um, the Grand Tour itself with, you know, stretching over to 12 episodes. Again, this is only really blue sky thinking, but I would really think that if online streaming services bought the license for Robot Wars, I genuinely think that there would be a vast amount of potential. There, there, there could be a huge amount of potential um, to really, really you know, exp not only expand the roster of robots, but it would be free from the BBC's um, no sports, no sponsorship deals. Where it, ro I think, I believe that if you compete on Robot Wars in the BBC, they don't pay you sponsorship fees. 
or you can't get your robot sponsored. You have to, everything is paid by your own money, and you, you're not allowed a sponsorship. They just don't do that for some reason. I think that online services don't, I, I honestly think they wouldn't, if, if, if it went to Amazon or Netflix, I really don't think that would be much of an issue. Um, but that's just more of hope, and, and that's just kind of what we've got left at this moment in time. Um, I'm sad about it, a lot of the Roboteers are sad about it, and it's not just, you know, the Robot Wars fans. Casual audiences have taken to Twitter as well, and they're just as, as, as peeved off about it. I mean, I mean, the, the countless amounts of tweets, um, to this, to this single response alone by the BBC press office has been hugely varied. I mean, I mean, I mean, obviously I've commented on it. It's very explicit because at the time of reading it, I'd only just seen uh, the feed of it, and I'd only just seen it on my Twitter feed. And well, I I kind of let my emotions get to me. But you have again Team Carbide uh, with the perfect response, just Jeremy Clarkson as a gif saying rubbish, absolutely f <laughs> brilliant. Um, uh, Adam Peckett. Uh, you know, this has to be said, you've made a really bad decision, put it politely, it's extremely pathetic, just don't, you just don't bring something back after 13 years and just cancel it two years later, good rebuttal, obviously, uh, shout out to Harry Ricard and Charlie Hubbard, the, those two are really good on the good rebuttal, and I really enjoy their, their podcasts, uh, they've mentioned me once or twice, I believe, uh, so I highly recommend you go check them out. We are very proud, proud, sorry, in quotations. Don't promote the show, don't give it any support, and don't even do something for its 20th anniversary. Oh yeah, so proud. Uh, Seaborg, okay, this is bullshit, or doodle. Uh, you might as well add on, uh, we wish them well in the future endeavours. You have other shows on BBC One and Two that could be removed for Robot Wars, promoted properly, might have got more views and therefore not be cancelled. Uh, Alex the Hunted, he's very vocal about the whole thing. He's very vocal about Robot Wars in general. This show better be the best fucking thing ever made. Uh, Aaron James of uh, Shunt Posting, absolutely disgusting John Reed face. Yeah, it is. Um, it's, it's just a const. Every single one of these has been nothing but, you know, these people calling out the BBC press for just how completely out of touch they are with audiences on this particular decision it's i'm just as baffled as as these people are there's just so many people who are really 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 annoyed about this whole debacle that's just been happening for the past few days and i don't blame them everyone every one of those people i don't really blame and you know especially just given how um how the bbc just couldn't be bothered to make an actual statement to, to actually to actually come out with a statement of their own and just rely on you know team carbide of all you know you know that is that's genuinely the most disgusting thing of all about this whole thing is the fact that the BBC had to rely on one of the more popular robot competing teams to make the announcement that's just complete that's completely insulting to me and if I was team carbide well I'd be doing exactly the same thing. I don't blame them at all one bit for for sending these gifts. I mean, I mean they've already destroyed a lot of robots um, in the past few series. I'm guessing now they're just going to destroy the BBC. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't really got much else to say on the whole thing. Robot Wars. I'm genuinely sad and gutted that it's been pulled off the screens for a second time in. In as much as two decades now, it's t it's twentieth anniversary as well. It's twenty years of Robot Wars, and it's been cancelled for a second time. And uh, I'm good. I'm I'm genuine. I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm I'm really really livid with this decision. Um, that being said, you know I I want to mention this quickly. You know. I was able to go to see Robot Wars twice uh, in the past few series. So I got to see the Robot Wars series 9 Grand Final. I got to see the entire first day of recording uh, for Robot Wars series 10. 
regardless of what has happened now, those BBC executives or producers who thought it was a good idea to just take this show off the air, they're not going to take memories away from me. That's the one thing they'll never be able to take. I've met some really nice people, uh, especially during my second uh, visit of Robot Wars, which was during May of 2017. It was like a, it's almost like been like a year ago now, and. I met some really good people. I really enjoyed my experience. It was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. And the fights themselves, I've seen some amazing robot fights. Something that my eight-year-old self would have loved to have seen. I mean, my younger self was only really able to watch Robot Wars from the TVs. I didn't. I mean, as a young kid, I didn't even realize that that they had recording sessions to go and see Robot Wars. But you know, ever since Robot Wars came back, I felt, okay, now this is an opportunity to go see it, and I managed to get to see it twice, and to be on TV twice as well, like, that's insane. I have now officially appeared on Robot Wars in the past two series. That's something that I I never thought I'd able to be able to do, and the next logical thing for me would have been to try and make, a, you know, to try and make a fighting robot itself. I mean, my robot building abilities can only be shown to an extent of a kit bot that I have in my cupboard. I'm just looking at it right now. It's it's a small finger tech robotics kit. Uh goes for about two hundred odd pounds. Uh that's the extent of my robot building abilities right there, so um yeah. <laughs> pretty 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 uh low, but it's a start. Um obviously the next thing would have been to make a heavyweight for me at that point. Obviously a lot of reasons I couldn't do that, obviously, because finances and just lack of money in general. Uh, but now I can't really do that. I mean, potentially at the live circuits, but uh, yeah, I think I think I've gone on long enough. So, uh, what do you guys think? I know that some of you are going to be really peeved off about this, and I don't blame you at all either. Um, I'd like to hear what you guys think about this whole, this whole utter farce that the BBC has gone and done. They've shot themselves really badly here, and I think this this could really spell bad times for the BBC coming up, coming up ahead. And I I I do hope that I mean I'm not getting my expectations high, but I just have a glimmer of hope that one day someone is going to see the Robot Wars license, whether or not it be Channel 4, ITV, Netflix, or Amazon Prime, any of those companies, if any of those could look at that, the, the uh, could look at the, uh, you know, the, the current license of Robot Wars and see the potential in it, maybe, just maybe, it might be back on track. But this, again, I have to stress, it's more blue sky thinking and hope rather than expectation. But it's something I'd rather cling on to than just, you know, give up. And, and that's what a lot of people aren't going to do either. They're not just going to give up. The live events are going to continue on. Robot Combat as a sport is going to go on forever. Effectively, Robot Combat is Robot Wars because that's how Robot Wars started out as something in America uh, that was made by Mark Thorpe. Uh, yeah. That's all I've got to say, really. What do you guys think? Just leave a comment below and share with me your thoughts on the whole thing. Thanks for watching, and I'm, uh, if you've if you've managed to listen to this ramble for this long, I uh, thank you, thank you very much. Um, I'll see you guys next time for probably another Robot Arena 2 video. Which actually, in fact, I'm probably going to stick some footage of Robot Arena 2 just so that you aren't visually bored of me talking into a black screen. <laughs> so. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.